All Sean Jeffrey returned to practice today, and he looks fabulous. He looks like he lost weight. He looks like he's not going to have to go to Carson Wentz fat camp. He looks good, and it's for good reason that he's back now, because this game this week versus Cincinnati, this is the fork in the road for the Eagles. Yo, everybody, hey, boom, King Ding Bang here. So, today we have come with the... It's a big ass dog. Dallas still stinks. Everybody do it. King Ding by here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well, even though we're stuck in purgatory, man. We're stuck in purgatory. And the reason I say that is because there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that is Sunday versus the Bengals. But in the meantime, this week has dragged on. It has been hell. And in purgatory hours, uh, one, one day is equal to one week on earth. One day is equal to one week on earth. And we're about four or five weeks, it seems, since we last place, played. Uh, that's how it feels. It feels like it's been that long, that torturous. So I think we're in purgatory. You know what I mean? I, 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 think, I think that's what we are. Hell is when you ain't got no shot. You're done. Right now, we're in purgatory. And we do got a little bit of good news we got to talk about real quick. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey's back. Alshon Jeffrey is back at practice. Now, I don't know if he's going to play and stuff, but he was moving around, running around. First thing I notice, he looks faster because he looks thinner. He can move around. He looks like... He looks like he dropped 20, 25 pounds. I don't know how much weight he actually lost, but he looks really thin, really good. Uh, it looks like, you know, he doesn't have to go to Carson Wentz fat camp with me and Carson. No more butter bean Wentz. Wentz can't even move. He's a fat target. He's just sitting there in the pocket. I think he's too fat. All Sean Jeffrey. He moves around. He's looking good. If we get All Sean Jeffrey back, that'll be a huge help, especially if he's in shape. Uh, we need him at this point. I mean, we're, we we need him. But he moved around. He's looking good. Doesn't mean he's going to play. And it, and if he does play, how limited will he be? But it's nice to see. It's nice to see all Sean Jeffrey back on the field moving around. We need him. We need him. And especially Carson needs him. And speaking of Carson, boy, I have never seen a guy. For, well, it's been a long time. I haven't seen him or somebody get killed the way he's getting killed. This week by Eagle fans, by by the Eagles, by Philly media, by national media, they are destroying this man. They are destroying this man. And, I, I mean, he's been bad, no question about it. But, you know, I, I have these dueling things going on inside me, right? On one hand, you know, the logic part of my brain, even though it's not doesn't work that good, the logic part of my brain says, Dude, it's 0-2. Chill out, man. We've done this before. We've been through this. We can bounce back. We'll be fine. 0-2 is not a death sentence. But then there's this gut feeling, right? This instinctive gut feeling that I have inside that says to me, Oh, shit. We're 0-2. And this team don't look good. There's something going on uh, beyond football, beyond what we're seeing in the locker room, the front office. Something ain't right. Whether Carson's really injured, whether the coaches at front office ain't getting along, whatever it is, something it does not feel right. Doesn't feel right. No, my hope is that they can get it together, turn it around. But I have these two thoughts, basically dueling with each other, and a lot of Eagle fans, man, they think burn this mother humper down. I got my dad texting me. Burn it down. I got my brother. Burn it down. I got Nitro Free. Burn it down. I got Mark Holmes. Please burn it down. You know, and I got Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness? Well, well I can't sleep for five more minutes. Okay. You know, it, it's crazy. It's a crazy, crazy week. And, and, and here's what I think. Uh, you know, here's where I'm at with this week, with this game. And I just kind of have to get it out there. I have to tell you how I think. I feel like the Eagles are a fork in the road right now. I feel like this game versus Cincinnati Bengals will determine what the Eagles do the next few years. I, I really believe it. And, and maybe that's an overreaction. Maybe. I don't know. 0-3 is not even impossible. But I think if this team falls 0-3, I don't think they can recover. 
I don't think they can recover from an 0-3 start. I think they can recover from a 1-2 start. I personally think that they're going to win the next two games and go to 2-2. But if they fall to 0-3, it is time. It is time to make some drastic moves, not only for the rest of this year, but for the future. I mean, it's just the way it is. Because the truth of the matter is, 0-3 is a bad hole. Think about it. You lose to the Bengals, you're 0-3. Now you got to go to San Francisco and find a way to win there. You haven't been playing good. You didn't win. you got to play Pittsburgh still. you got to play Baltimore. You could easily be 1-5, 1-6 very quickly. At that point, well, what are you playing for? What are you playing for? You're playing for to, to get in the playoffs because the rest of the division stinks? Or, or are we going to say, look, is Carson the guy? We're paying this guy a lot of money. Do we need to pay him this much money? We're $70 million over the cap. Maybe it's time to get his ass out of there, tank, and get Trevor Lawrence. Get him. I mean, I know that sounds dramatic. And I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Most likely, the Eagles never are bad enough to get franchise-changing players. Most of the time, when they're, they're like 7-9, 8-8, 9-7, and somewhere around there, maybe they get in the playoffs. But all I'm saying, 0 and 3 is is a, is a death sentence in my opinion. I know technically it's not. I know it's possible, but a team that has shown you nothing so far, to me, I don't know how they turn it around. Now the good news is, I think the Eagles, I think they they will turn it around. I don't think this team is as bad as everybody is killing them right now. I am not off the Carson Wentz's bandwagon at all. Carson is still my guy. Carson Wentz is still my guy. However, if you get to a point where you you have one win, five losses, one win and six losses, and you get a position to get a young quarterback like that, you have to do it. You have to do it unless Carson lights it up. But right now, to me, Carson is either injured or he's too fat. That's it. He's either injured or too fat. I went back and I was watching the last five weeks of last year. Guy looks, guy was moving all around. You know, he looked good. He could get out of the pocket. He could do things. And he made plays on his feet. Where is that guy? He got too fat. And, and look, coming from a fat guy, he knows fat guys. We smell our own. We, we share food together, Twinkies, fat can. Carson Wentz is fat. He's got to, he's got to, he's got to put the Twinkies, put the cheesesteaks down and, and try to lose some weight because he can't move in the pocket. I really believe that. He's too big. That's the honest truth. He's too big. And, and look, he can lose some weight during the season, get, get his feet going, but he's immobile and that's been a problem. And, and, and I'm going to tell you this too. I think he's immobile and he got heavy because Doug told him to. I think the Eagles said to him, don't run out of the pocket anymore. That's every time you run out of the pocket, you get hurt. We don't want you running out of the pocket. Stay in there and throw the ball away. I think that they said get bigger, be able to take more hits, and then stay in the pocket. And this is a this is part of Doug's fault. This is part of Carson's fault. And it's too big, and it's not his game. He needs to be thinner. He needs to be able to move. That's my opinion. That's why I think Carson's having problems. Now, Maybe maybe the weight isn't bad and he can move and he's just injured. Well, if that's the case, then so be it. Then then that's it. But to the to the to the naked eye here, when I look at him, if he's not hurt and he's good enough to be on the field playing, he looks too fat to me. He looks like he can't move. He's too big. I mean, it just is what it is. Now they can turn it around. I think I think we'll win. And I'll do my prediction preview tomorrow and all that. But I think we'll beat Cincinnati. I think we're going to beat Cincinnati, beat San Francisco. I think we're going to get to two and two. Question is, what are you going to do versus Pittsburgh? You know, that'll kind of be a another time for the Eagles to get going. I think going three is a disastrous, disastrous thing. It's a disastrous situation to be in. However, I don't think the Eagles are going zero and three. I think we'll win this game. But what can we do after that, you know? Um, one, and, one and two gets you right back in this division. No doubt about it. Uh, oh, and three, even though it's not impossible, I have little faith at that point. Would I go into tank mode at 0 and 3? No, I wouldn't go to tank mode at 0 and 3. But I would, I would look to make some dramatic changes, you know? And I'm not saying Carson necessarily. Not, not the quarterback. I don't think putting Hurts in is going to help you. I don't think you put Jalen Hurts in until, like, Week 10, 9, 10, when you're struggling, okay? You, you got to let Carson 
either sink or swim. He's got to sink or swim. No excuses for him this year. No breaks. No, oh, well, he was injured or he was hurt. There's nothing. There is either you get your crap together or you don't. And he's got to work through it. So I back Carson. I support him. I'm not bashing the guy. However, this is a this is this is a year where he has to get it done. He has to find a way. And we're going to see what he's got. We're going to see what he's made of. If they go to 0-3, yeah, I'm going to be panicked. I'm going to panic. I really think 0-3 changes the whole complexity of this team. 1-2, and 2, you keep going. Uh, and, and, and like I said, 0-3 technically for a lot of teams wouldn't be a death sentence. But based upon how we've looked with all the injuries, with all the cap money next few years, you got to wonder. You got to wonder. And what happens if you go to 0-4 and, and or you go to 1-5, and 1-6? and 6? Then what do you do? Then what do you do? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But... This is a huge game for the Eagles. This Sunday is, to me, the biggest game you could have early in a season that I've seen in a long, long time. Eagles better go out and take care of business. Carson better show us that he can move and that he's not fat. He's just a little bigger and he can move. He better show us that he can play and that he can respond to the criticism. It's great. It's great to have Sean Jeffrey back. He's going to help a lot. I'm glad he's back. But the truth of the matter is... This is a fork in the road for the Eagles, in my opinion, this game. Because I don't know they can recover from 0-3. So, if they don't recover from 0-3, then what does the future mean for this team? That's my question. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.